Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy, here with TRQ where you can view before you do. Does your engine buck, surge, just basically have general bad behavior, bad performance problems, and a check engine light code with either a P0101 or a P0102? Keep watching, we're gonna show you how to fix that. The P0101 code is for a MAF sensor or mass airflow sensor. This sensor is located in the intake track between the air filter and the throttle body. Its job is to measure the air that's going into the engine. The computer uses that information to calculate a fuel mixture so that it can add the proper amount of fuel to mix with that air. If the sensor is having an issue or there's some other issue around the sensor, the computer has well, misinformation. And with that misinformation, it's not able to give the engine the proper amount of fuel. That's why you get the misfiring, the bucking, and all those other symptoms that are associated with an issue with the MAF sensor. This may seem obvious, and don't ask me how I know, but if you've just done a bunch of work to your vehicle and you had to unplug the mass airflow sensor for whatever reason, just check to see if it's plugged in. You might have forgotten to plug it in, and that's what's setting the code and causing the engine to run poorly but it's one of the first things I usually check for. Now I've removed the mass airflow sensor from this Silverado, but the three issues that I mainly see with these is the sensor itself could just be bad, or the sensor could be dirty, or there could be something called pirate air. So these are the three things to look for if you get this code. Now, as I mentioned, sometimes these mass airflow sensors can get dirty, and there is a special cleaner that you can pick up from the auto parts store just for this. It's called mass airflow sensor cleaner. However, some mass airflow sensors, if you try and clean them, they will destroy the sensor. You don't want that. So you want to make sure that you know whether or not your sensor can be cleaned before you go there. Additionally, if you have a performance air filter, particularly of the type that you might spray oil onto in order for that, for that filter to work properly, that oil can get onto the sensor and cause it to be dirty. So be aware of that if you're installing one of those filters. Mass airflow sensors come in a variety of shapes and configurations. In fact, I don't have one here, but some come in a, a cylinder that looks like a honeycomb on the inside of it. That's actually an air straightener. But they all do the same thing. They measure the air going into the engine so the computer can calculate a correct fuel mixture. And some of them, like this one, also incorporate the intake air temperature sensor, which if you have a code for an intake air temperature sensor and a mass airflow sensor, definitely check to see if it's unplugged. Now let's talk about pirate air, or air that's getting into the engine after the sensor, air that the sensor never accounted for. So say there's a hole right here. That's air that's getting in, the sensor didn't account for it, now the computer can't calculate a proper fuel mixture. I've seen this aggravated in situations like when you go to accelerate, what happens is the engine can move or torque, and when it does, it can open up that hole. So everything might be fine at idle, but as soon as you go to accelerate, it opens up that hole. What you want to make sure of is that there are no holes or air leaks between anything after the sensor and the throttle body. If you do have them, address them, fix them, clear the code, and recheck for the problem. Here's an old trick that I sometimes do when I run into this code. While the engine is running, especially if it's running rough, I'll just unplug the MAPS airflow sensor, and if the engine starts to smooth out or run better, well, this is definitely a prime suspect in my mind. Through a process of elimination, if you go through these other steps and you still have the issue, it's very likely you have a bad sensor. These sensors uh, come in many different shapes and sizes, so uh, it's not possible for me to go through the diagnostic steps for each one of these. But again, if you go through the other steps of checking to see if you have other air leaks or perhaps cleaning the sensor, if you still have an issue, then you very likely have a bad sensor and should replace it. Thank you so much for watching today, viewers. I hope this information was helpful to you if you had a P0101 or a P0102 code in your vehicle for a MAF sensor. Check the description for additional information. I'm Eric the Car Guy here with TRQ, where you can view before you do. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty. I'll see you next time. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.